would you take new automobile, 1961 Moskvich hardtop convertible two-tone? You mean that Russian hot rod parked outside? This wonderful car is the exact copy of 1937 Nash. Not interesting. Tomorrow and I will be strolling hand in hand across Red Square. I hope you won't be ashamed of me in front of your friends. Of course not. I promise you'll only wear my jewelry at home. They have assigned us a magnificent apartment. Just a short walk from the bathroom. I love you. I'll make you very happy. Every morning we'll have breakfast in bed. Sounds wonderful. Also lunch, also dinner. In bed? There's no table and no chairs. Who cares? <laughs> I'll pick you up at 6.30 sharp, because the 7 o'clock train to Moscow leaves promptly at 8.15. Wait, 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 you want to hear what the doctor said? Get him some coffee. He's going to need it. From you, I don't need anything. I'm going to have a baby. If my wife wasn't here and if she wasn't going to have a baby... What? That's right. Liebchen! <laughs> That's just what the world needs. Another bouncing baby Bolshevik. <laughs> I was so afraid you wouldn't want it. Oh, you little fool, I want dozens. So do I. So does the party. They encourage it. We must we arrive in Moscow. We must get on the waiting list for the People's Maternity Ward and the People's Obstetrician. No, I'd like to fly over my own doctor from Atlanta and my old nurse and my governess. What for? The state takes care of everything. At the age of six months, the baby will be enrolled in the People's Nursery School. Naturally, we will have visiting rights every other Sunday. Every other Sunday? You can bring him some pablum with a file in it. Imperialist stooge. And of course, we'll see him on May Day. He'll be marching by in the parade. We can wave to him. You can also wave to him on Lenin's birthday and on Yuri Gagarin's birthday. That kid'll be parading all the time. Well, at least it'll keep him off the streets. The tickets. Where the tickets? We must find out when the next train leaves for Moscow. Forget it, Piffle. You're not going to Moscow. You can't even get back to East Berlin. <laughs> Why not? Because you're an American spy. Oh, who said so? You did. Don't you remember last night at the police station? You signed a confession. An American is just beyond. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't that thrilling, darling? Why didn't you tell me? But I'm... I'm not a spy. It's not true. Makes you think, doesn't it, about all those other confessions they get.